everyone and welcome. I'm really glad you're here. My name is Sandy Elson and on behalf of the Travel Professional Community and HomeBasedTravelAgent.com, I welcome all of you to today's webinar. We have a very exciting webinar in store for you today brought to you by Starwood Hotels and Resorts. Starwood is a great supporter of travel agents, our travel professional network and HomeBasedTravelAgent.com and we really appreciate all this support. Our speaker today is Chris Austin, Vice President, Global Leisure and Luxury Sales for Starwood. Our topic is Chris Austin introduces you to SPG Pro. Chris will be talking about the Starwood Advantage and will be telling us about the new fantastic SPG Pro program. Chris Austin was born in the UK in Warwickshire and now calls Miami home. He is responsible for leading the leisure and luxury segments including travel professional strategy at Starwood and global sales team. Chris is a strong advocate for travel professionals both inside and outside of Starwood. His focus ensures that Starwood is known to be a loyal and trusted partner to all travel professionals worldwide. Before we get started, please remember that you are all muted, so you will be able to hear us, but we won't be able to hear you. We do, however, welcome your questions. You can type in your questions at any time in the question area you see on the right-hand panel of your screen. At the end of Chris's presentation, we will get to as many questions as we can. Chris is being extremely generous with us today and is offering a $100 MasterCard gift card to the person who correctly answers the question that Chris will be asking at the end of his presentation. So be sure to stay tuned for that. Uh, so now I'm going to turn the microphone over to Chris so he can get started. I'll be back a little later to ask Chris your questions. Welcome back, Chris. Thank you so much indeed, Sandy, and good afternoon, everybody, or good morning, if it's still early uh, mid-morning for yourselves. It's a pleasure to be back with you all, and uh, thank you, Sandy, for the, for the introductions. Um, yes, the accent is English, although uh, the accent today is a little muffled. Unfortunately, I have a little bit of a cold, so uh, hopefully I'm still loud and clear. And uh, yes, even in Miami, with the sun shining, we do get colds, unfortunately. But uh, anyway, I am really delighted to be with you uh, all today, and we are going to talk to you about the Starwood Advantage and how your work is certainly going to be more rewarding uh, working with Starwood. And of course, I'm sure you already know this, but uh, Starwood is the leading global hospitality lifestyle brand in the world. Two key words here, global and lifestyle. Starwood is obviously a very global company. We'll talk about that in a second. But we play a very, very heavy focus on the lifestyle nature of all of our brands. And this is important to yourselves, actually, because it makes you have the ability as a travel professional partner to actually be able to articulate and sell our brands a lot easier. And we're going to talk a little bit about our brands this afternoon also. Starwood actually believes the hotel is certainly more uh, than just, for example, a box. It's a place where people can discover new experiences. It's a place where lifelong dreams can come true, memories are made, and at Starwood we believe actually in offering a better way to experience the world. Some of you may be looking at this picture here, and yes, this is actually one of our hotels. This is actually a member of our luxury collection. It's the Marquis de Riscal uh, property in the beautiful wine, Rioja wine country of Spain. And I think you can all agree, if you're standing looking at uh, this beautiful luxury collection hotel in Spain, the experience has begun. Uh, designed by Frank Geary, a very famous uh, uh, architect, the roof structure there is his interpretation, actually, of when you uh, take the foil off the uh, top of a bottle of wine and how it sort of spirals, it unravels. That's his interpretation of that. And everything that actually happens in this beautiful hotel is focused on wine, whether you're in the spa, in the restaurant, or, of course, in the bars. And I think it typifies, actually, what we say, that a hotel is a place where people discover new experiences. So we are a very des de design-led uh, company. We have a lot of focus on detail and, of course, a lot of focus on our customers and our travel professional partners. We actually do have the largest collection of high-end hotels in the world, and we're actually the largest luxury hotel operator in the world. 
In fact, you could combine our two closest luxury competitors and Starwood would still have more luxury hotels than those two companies put together. We do operate nine brands around the world. Today, we have approximately 1,200 hotels in 106 countries. So we talk about our lifestyle brands, our world-class brands, and as I said earlier, we really do focus a lot of our attention on our brands and on being able to differentiate our brands. And why is that actually important to a travel professional? It's important because when you actually match the right client of yours to one of our brands, you actually do earn loyalty beyond reason. We'll talk a little bit about that as we go through. And I'd actually like to suggest, as we do talk about some of our brands, maybe you'd like to write down some of your client names even, uh, thinking that they may actually enjoy one of our brands. It's going to create a little cheat sheet for you, actually. You could reach out to them following today's webinar and actually make a suggestion that they travel to one of these brands that you believe is actually perfect for them. So anyway, let's get going, actually, and talk about our luxury portfolio. St. Regis, the Luxury Collection, and W Hotels. We'll start with St. Regis, 33 hotels now in 15 countries. And St. Regis is an uncompromising reflection of elegance for the connoisseur for life's finest moments. The world of luxury expressed by the first St. Regis Hotel over a century ago never ceases to evolve. From actually the days when John Jacob Astor IV opened the doors of his Beaux Arts masterpiece on Fifth Avenue, St. Regis has stood as a symbol of uncompromising elegance and bespoke service. A rich lineage, loyal following, and an address without equal for guests who are looking for the very, very best today. St. Regis is a preeminent five-star brand, and it's poised, actually, for an, ex an extraordinary expansion around the world, with new properties opening, for example, in Istanbul and in Moscow this year. The Luxury Collection, currently 88 hotels in 30 countries. The Luxury Collection's properties are very indigenous, just like the property we looked at earlier, the Marquis de Riscale in Spain. They offer exceptional experiences, and our concierge are critically important, actually, at our Luxury Collection properties also. They really are all a one-of-a-kind, culturally significant in destinations where your clients wish to travel. And W Hotels Worldwide, today 45 hotels in 19 countries. W Hotels Worldwide is a destination filled with vibrant sensory experiences for those who like to live on, we could like to say, on the on culture's cusp. It all started in 1998 when the W New York opened its doors and transformed the very definition actually of hotels and the definition of luxury. Today, of course, you may have clients that actually do want luxury served up a little less traditional. And W, certainly, in its very modern and hip design style, meets that need. What's next for W Hotels? Well, after a very successful 15 plus years, we're opening some incredible W destinations. Our 45th property was actually the W Verbier in Switzerland and uh, is a wonderful, wonderful destination to go, for, go to, especially for winter skiing, but also for summer, uh, a summer destination also to the Swiss Alps. And new properties this year will open, for example, the W Beijing also, and next year we'll be opening the W in Amsterdam. All Ws, of course, offer a wonderful insider experience that you can't find at any other brand. Contemporary cool design the hippest bars for mingling and flirting, and signature programming, the hottest destinations, and of course some exclusive retreats, for example, the W Vieques in uh, Vieques Island just off Puerto Rico, the W Bali retreat, and then the Maldives as well. So now let's move forward and actually just quickly look at our upper upscale brands, Westin, Sheraton, and Le Meridian, some very, very famous brands here. Westin has crossed the 200 mark. In fact, we opened our 200th hotel just recently in China, 201 hotels in 39 countries. Westin is a rejuvenation. It's a place for refuge, we could say, somewhere where actually guests will feel better when they leave than when they arrived. 
I'm sure many of you actually know uh, Weston and actually do understand about the feeling uh, that I'm talking about. Weston, of course, is famous because uh, of our Western heavenly beds, our Western heavenly baths. And of course, that speaks to the innovation and the differentiation that Starwood has actually across all of our brands. Western today is also known, though, for our superfoods menu, our Western workouts, as well as obviously our fabulous beds and our fabulous spas and uh, baths, etc. Western continues to outperform the competition, actually, and we are growing globally. We're also innovating and continually looking to ensure that the Western brand leads the upper upscale segment. Now, Sheraton, 433 hotels in 71 countries. Again, Sheraton, I'm sure, is very familiar with all of you. As it has its roots back to 1937 when two gentlemen bought a carpet warehouse actually in the little town of Stonehaven in Massachusetts. They decided actually they would keep the red neon sign on the top of the building as it was more expensive to take that sign down than to leave it actually, uh, uh, to, than to take the sign down to leave it up. That red neon sign, of course, said in red Sheraton and hence was born a fabulous hotel and now 433 hotels around the world. Sheraton offers a warm place. It actually uh, encourages sort of a family community and pe people feel very connected now at our Sheratons. Uh, we obviously offer partnerships with um, uh, Microsoft where we actually power our link at Sheraton now found in all of our Sheraton lobbies. All Sheratons have a Sheraton club level as well. And uh, over the last uh, six to seven years, we have invested actually over $11 billion to revitalize Sheraton. I think any Sheraton you go in now to in the world really does have a fantastic reputation. We have our Sheraton suite sleeper beds. We've opened new Sheratons, refurbished uh, nearly all of our portfolio. So I do invite you all actually, if you've not seen a Sheraton recently, please do step inside our Sheraton doors and I think you'll agree with me, Sheraton is a property where you can have confidence and certainly book your clients into. Le Meridian, 95 hotels, 41 countries. Le Meridian was born as a French brand, actually owned by Air France, but Starwood bought the brand over seven years ago and now Le Meridian is more of a European brand. We actually bought the brand with about 150 hotels, so what do you say uh, has happened as we now only have 95? We did deactivate a lot of Le Meridians after acquiring the brand because we truly didn't believe they were up to the brand standard. And what does that say to you? It says to you that you can trust Starwood and you can trust all of our hotels across all of our brands because obviously we want every hotel to be additive to that brand and not a brand detractor. And that's important to you because you have to trust your partners. You can't physically see all the hotels that you sell and you do, as I say, have to trust your partners. Le Meridian has gone through an incredible amount of, uh, again, under Starwood's ownership, uh, revitalization. Le Meridians now offer a cool environment for what we say is the creative class. You can unlock art, you can enjoy a wonderful European coffee culture experience in all of our Le Meridian hubs, our lobby. And truly, truly, if there is a Lumeridian close to you, I would encourage you actually to go and have a look at these beautiful new properties that now are opening around the world and here in the United States as well. And then our select service brands, or what uh, we call our loft four points and element brands. Very important, uh, three star properties that uh, I'm sure many of your clients actually do use today and you'll probably find if you're writing down those names some great opportunities for your uh, future clients to uh, stay at these properties. Now I talk about Starwood being innovative and differentiating and of course we did create the W brand 17 years ago but we also created two of the brands that you're looking at here as well, Aloft and Element. So Aloft created by Starwood is now the fastest growing new hotel a brand ever created in the hotel industry. 84 hotels in 14 countries. A loft offers a forward design, a tech savvy space with an urban look and a bright social scene. Guest rooms are loft-like, a buzzing bar and an open lobby. An urban inspired grab and go cafe 
industrial design elements throughout make a loft a far cry from its conventional cookie cutter competitors. It's truly unique and as I say, is the fastest growing new brand ever created in the hotel industry. Four Points is the hotel with everything, style, service and comfort at a very affordable, a great price. It's for what we call the straightforward traveler who just wants convenience. Now a lot, uh, sorry, now Four Points is, over in th uh, is found in over 30 countries. It's actually Starwood's third largest brand and delights the self-sufficient traveler with uncomplicated comfort and simple pleasures like, for example, complimentary internet, free water, and our Four Points uh, beds, of course, a hearty breakfast, hot and fresh coffee, and our best brews program. If you're British or just love beer like I do, then Four Points is a great brand to go and enjoy our best brews program, all, of course, at a terrific value. An element, maybe a brand that you're less familiar with, but a brand, again, created by Starwood and uh, really starting now to grow very well. We actually just this year opened our 12th hotel, actually in our second country in Germany, at, in, in, uh, in Frankfurt. So the other 11 hotels are all here in the US, but Element is compelling for a longer stay. It actually is nothing like anything else in the marketplace. It's basically eco-friendly, it's smart, it's sustainable, and it's transformed that extended stay space in the hotel segment. Element hotels offer a lot of natural light, open spaces, healthy options, and yes, it is inspired by Westin. So you do find the Westin heavenly bed at all Element hotels. Element provides guests a space to live their lives, spacious guest rooms featuring fully equipped kitchens, spa-inspired bathrooms, um, and of course, a uh, great place to work smarter and a great place to stay. So that actually gives you a quick recap on our nine world-class brands. And I think you can see how differentiated they actually are in the luxury, in the upper upscale, and in the select service space. Hopefully you've written a few client names down and you can match that right client to the right brand. But at Starwood, we are laser focused also on supporting our travel professional. And we have, of course, really taken the DNA of our company to be innovative and to, to, to be differentiating and really focused on creating the right tools and programming to make doing business with each other a little bit easier. So we're really, really proud to actually announce that we have created a real game changer, a new loyalty program, a first in the industry, SPG Pro. We're combining our award-winning guest loyalty program, SPG, Star Preferred Guest, with our award-winning travel professional program, Starwood Pro, to create, as I said, an industry-first offering, offering with SPG Pro. This is a huge opportunity for travel professionals, and if you allow me to say, it demonstrates the unwavering support Starwood has for its travel professional community globally. It further emphasizes the innovative passion and that DNA I spoke to of Starwood as we design programs to make doing business with us simply more rewarding. So we're keeping everything that was, the, that was great as part of Star Pro, and I wish to thank all of you who were and are today Star Pros, including the ability now, though, to earn SPG points on all eligible business. With SPG Pro, you'll have a single integrated SPG account for professional and personal travel activity. And in addition to earning star points, you'll be eligible to earn elite status in SPG and have access to all the industry leading SPG benefits. So I can hear everybody saying, so this sounds great, Chris. How will I earn my points? So let's take a little look at this slide. How will you earn? when, of course, you're booking stays for your clients. If you're booking rate plans that are publicly available to any traveler and any booker and are commissionable, of course, to yourselves, then they're going to be eligible for SPG points. When you're booking, if you're a member of a luxury or leisure consortia, 
There are many, of course, uh, the, the consortia that you could be part of, virtuoso, signature ensemble, travel leaders, etc. The list goes on and on and on. When you're booking those hotel programs and the hotel program rate plan, you'll also be eligible to earn SPG points. And of course, when you book through channels such as the GDS, when you're booking through the Starred websites, spgpro.com's website, Starred Pro, of course, now, which will migrate to SPG Pro, or calling through our call centers or Property Direct, you will earn SPG points. But in addition, you'll earn SPG points also if you're booking a group or an event. You could be booking a group or an event for your personal use, maybe, for a family reunion, an anniversary party. You could earn SPG points on that as well. Or, of course, again, if you're booking groups or events, weddings, small meetings, just maybe a group of, of, of uh, guys going to play golf or girls going to the spa, you'll be able to earn points on that group or meeting as well. And then also, when you travel personally, so if you're booking an eligible rate plan again for your personal travel, maybe you wish to head off to New York City and you want to do some holiday shopping and you're staying at one of our properties in New York City on an eligible rate plan, you would again earn SPG points. So for personal travel and your client's travel, you will be able to earn SPG points. So again, I'm sure the next question is, so how many points will I earn? So here is a, a slide that clearly tells you actually what you would earn. And this also speaks to the elite tiering that you have an opportunity to, uh, to embrace as well. So everybody will start at the preferred level. You'd get one star point for every $3 in room revenue for all your eligible bookings. And you get one eligible night for every 20 consumed nights towards your elite status. So once you actually have booked 25 eligible nights, you've become a gold. If you've booked 50 eligible nights, you become a platinum. So, of course, an eligible night, back to the first point, you get one eligible night for every 20 consumed nights for the clients you're booking. So, you get to gold through 25, you get to platinum through 50. Then, your earning ability increases. You get one star point for every two US dollars of revenue uh, that you're booking. And, of course, you continue to uh, earn your eligible night qualifications as well. Once you're at platinum 75, you actually get two star points then for every three US dollars in room revenue. So you'll earn points even faster. Simply put, the more business that actually you, put, you, uh, you book to Starwood, the faster you'll actually increase in the, in the uh, uh, different tiers of SVG, and obviously platinum being the highest. Now also, benefits of SPG Pro will be access to the SPG Pro Learning Library. Many of you already are Star Pro graduates and have taken many of our Pro Learning uh, modules. We're moving all of SPG Pro Learning uh, into SPG Pro. And of course, once you are a graduate of our very first module, you do unlock access to the Star Pro rates. Also, the content, the content in SPG Pro uh, has been developed by uh, travel professionals, for travel professionals, and all that information will be maintained at your fingertips. So actually, this little chart here, sorry, it's a little bit of an eyeball chart, but actually it just gives you a little summary of how you could earn star points as being an SPG Pro. If you're booking leisure or corporate travel and eligible rate plans, if you're booking meetings or events or traveling personally, you could earn SPG points on all of that type of business. So, for example, you could, uh, if you were booking $150,000 or 400 room nights, just let's say, of leisure or corporate travel, at the preferred level, if you're reading from left to right, you'll see that you'd earn 50,000 points and 20 eligible nights. If you're already a gold, you'd earn 75,000. And if you're already a platinum, 75, you'd actually earn 100,000 points. If you also book some meetings or groups, $30,000 of revenue in meetings or groups, or 40 room nights, just for example, then you could earn an additional 10,000 points as a preferred member. If you're a gold, you'd earn 15,000 more points. And let's pretend you actually 
had about $4,000 worth of personal travel. Maybe you went off on that fabulous dream trip that you wanted to do to Italy or to Australia or something. You stayed in our hotels and you spent $4,000 in hotel revenue. You'd earn 8,000 points as a preferred member, 12,000 as a gold, uh, etc. And you can just see how the points add up. Even at the preferred level, in our example here, you'd have earned 68,000 star points for the business that you booked during that one year. Uh, so I think clearly you can see the more business you book, points do add up. So you can actually earn your first 250 points just by linking accounts today. I do wish to thank all of you who've already done that immediately, but for those of you who haven't linked your accounts or created a brand new SVG Pro account, please do so by October the 15th you will earn a bonus 250 points in your account if you link prior to October the 15th. All features of Star Pro will be available, of course, with the conversion to SPG Pro. You'll start earning SPG points as of October the 15th. So to link your accounts, either go to StarPro.com, which you probably have bookmarked, or go to spg.com forward slash pro. Either way, you'll be able to link your accounts and be ready to start earning points as of October the 15th. So actually, let's look now at that example. You had 68,000 points from a year of business, and now you're thinking of how to redeem your points. There's a myriad of options, actually, for how you'd be able to redeem your SPG points. You could actually use them for free nights, of course. We don't have any blackout dates when using SPG points uh, for free nights at our, any of our hotels. That means you could be staying at a St. Regis, maybe even the St. Regis in New York or our flagship property. You could be staying at a Sheraton or a Westin and a Loft, Four Points, any of our brands. You could actually use Star Points for merchandise. You could actually use star points for shopping, for gift cards, for star, spa treatments, even buying that heavenly bed from Western hotels and having it shipped home. You could also use star points for SPG flights, redeeming airline tickets with over 350 airline partners with no blackout dates. Or ready, jet, set, go, transfer SPG points to over 30 airline frequent flyer programs. And you know something? We are the only hotel company that gives you a 5,000 point bonus for every 20,000 SPG points you move into one of those 30 airline programs. That's a huge bonus and something to really take advantage of. And then we also have something called SPG Moments. That's really uh, something very special. You could be uh, getting exclusive tickets to concerts or having a celebrity meet and greet with somebody uh, that. Uh, you probably would love to, to spend some time with. So our resources, we are, of course, as we said, going to keep all of the content of Star Pro. It's just going to transition into SPG Pro. There will be a very robust website. It will include brand information. It will include all of our SPG Pro learning, our core uh, curriculum, our destination training. Today, actually, we have over 18 destination modules. And in the destination modules, we actually teach the art of story selling. Some would say storytelling, but we like to say at Starwood, story selling, because stories do literally sell. And in these destination modules, they average about 30 to 45 minutes. You can learn more about a destination, for example, Greece. But you'll also learn about our beautiful hotels, our luxury collection properties in Athens or in Santorini or in Mykonos, in Crete, for example. And then actually, you could email a story that you'll have built during that course and actually email that to your clients and say, I've literally just spent 30 minutes learning about Greece and this is why I think you should actually plan a trip to Greece next year. You use the story that you've built to actually drive more business back to yourselves. And we think actually that's a very proactive uh, utilization of your time for training. And we're going to continue to add to our destination modules. As I say, there are 18 now. We'll soon be launch launching Italy, another destination module on China, and also on Florida as well. And there'll be more modules next year. I spoke earlier that when you actually graduate from module one, our 
loyalty and earning uh, our brand and, and earning loyalty beyond reason module, you actually unlock Star Pro rates. So we do believe actually that your education continues by experiencing our hotels firsthand and actually traveling to those hotels and experiencing them. Now these rates are exclusive to travel professionals and they are actually our lowest rates that we offer to anybody. They start at $69 and they are of course capacity controlled so you won't always find star pro rates available. They won't actually be point eligible either because they are significantly discounted as I say starting at $69. So when you see star pro rates available there's a booking feature on our website. It uses a very intuitive calendar when you see they're available and you wish to travel, take advantage of those because obviously seeing a property firsthand really does allow you to sell that to your clients well. The website will also include uh, a, a very intuitive booking page and booking guide, GDS information of course, commission information, etc. Oh and actually I do just want to say something about commissions. Do you know Starwood still is the only hotel company in the world that recognizes all travel professional credentials? IATA, ARC, CLEAR, TRUE and TIDS and we're one of the few companies also that when we pay your commission centrally we don't deduct any fees. If we say we're paying you 10% commission you receive a full 10% commission. I warn you some of our competitors with major brands deduct a small percentage for the transaction of sending you their commission. We don't believe we should do that and we don't. We send you a full 10% commission. So then membership eligibility in SPG Pro. Well travel professionals must hold of course a valid industry credential and I've just listed all of those. IATA, ARC, CLEAR, TRUE and TIDS. Now once you've linked your Star Pro account with SPG, you're actually all set up. You will actually receive a automated email confirming that you're all set up and actually prior to October the 15th, you will receive additional information uh, detailing how and where you put your SPG number to ensure you are actually earning your points. It's very, very, very simple and as I say, communications will all be coming directly to everybody who's enrolled to clearly tell them where to put the SPG number, whether you're booking on the GDS, in our website, or of course just quoting that number over the phone to our CCCs. So hopefully you're all very excited about the opportunity of this industry first. There's no other hotel company that has taken the step to leverage their existing guest loyalty program and create a combined customer guest loyalty program. Starwood is again setting uh, the trend in innovation and really rewarding our travel professionals for the business that you give us. It's a terrific opportunity. So how can you actually drive more business to Starwood hotels and resorts? Let's take a little look now. There's tremendous opportunity to increase your profits by selling hotels. You could be selling a lot of hotels today, but think about upselling. Try and suggest to your clients if they could actually have accommodations and suites or villas or those club floors that I mentioned at Sheraton. As the price increases, of course, so does your client satisfaction and you'll definitely exceed their expectations, but so do your commissions increase as well. Pre and post cruise. We know that everybody likes to sell uh, cruises and there's an opportunity for every single cruise you sell to offer pre and post cruise. We like to say at Starwood that selling one night is purely selling a convenience, but selling three nights is selling an experience. And at Starwood, we're very focused on selling and delivering experiences. So you know what? Even if somebody's cruising locally, maybe suggest they do have two or three nights just to experience the destination. But if they're actually taking a cruise out of, say, Europe, then definitely offer them three nights in Barcelona and three nights in Rome if they're sailing, of course, from Barcelona to Rome or vice versa. Let them actually say, you know what, I won't have time for three nights, but I could do two, or I don't have time for three nights, but I could do one. If you offer them nothing, then you get nothing. So I think pre and post cruise is really a huge opportunity and Starwood actually has 170 of our hotels in over 50 of the world's cruise ports. So again, with the right partner, 
and have the right product uh, for your pre and post cruise um, uh, client stays. Weddings and honeymoons, another tremendous opportunity. Sometimes people say to, uh, to me, well, isn't that a little uh, compli complicated, Chris, to plan? You know what? It isn't really because we do most of the work, actually, especially for a wedding, a destination wedding. We have people on site in the Caribbean or in Hawaii. We've got over 250 resorts. We really do make the work easy. And the wonderful thing about this, of course, is you generally get a nice, sizable group uh, uh, to be booking. And, of course, you can earn those SPG points as of October the 15th on that business as well. Multi-generational travel. It's certainly no longer a trend. It's the norm. Again, the grandparents love to take their kids and their grandkids away. You know, it's not just booking one room. It's booking three or four rooms. And again, those commissions go up. Maybe look to offer again a suite. Uh, maybe the, the grandparents can stay in a suite because that can also become the gathering spot for everybody. Suites are also in the most beautiful locations of our hotels with great views. And again, it just drives that customer experience and the uh, expectations. You earn that loyalty beyond reason that we've spoken about before. Celebration travel. You know, if I was your client, I'd expect you to know when my birthday is. When am I celebrating my 50th or my 25th wedding anniversary or something? And really, when you know about those things, you can reach out well in advance to your clients and say and suggest they actually celebrate with travel. Tremendous opportunity to really find those unique celebratory opportunities and celebrate with booking hotels anywhere in the world. Starwood has over 250 resorts, actually, and again, suggesting a quick trip away to a fabulous resort or even a week's stay over to Hawaii or somewhere. Resorts are easy to sell because the photography is obviously gorgeous, and we all dream about a nice little break, perhaps, laying on a beach, laying poolside, skiing, uh, et cetera, and really a tremendous opportunity to be proactive to reach out to clients and suggest resort vacations. Of course, the uh, opposing, uh, I guess, uh, vacation would be a city break to a resort. And of course, cultural city breaks are really growing in popularity. Off to New York to see the sites, Washington, D.C., for example, San Francisco, over to London, anywhere in the world, the world's capitals are a tremendous place for a uh, vacation. But of course, closer to home, it really adds uh, an opportunity for yourselves to, uh, to propose a two-night trip or, or a three-night trip, perhaps, to your clients to escape to a city. And then, of course, golf and spa. I referenced earlier about uh, putting golf groups together for the guys or spa groups together for the girls, or maybe it's vice versa. Girls go golfing, guys go to the spa. But you can earn all of the SPG points, of course, on booking that type of group as well. Uh, in the new SPG Pro program. So I think just nine thoughts there of how you can all actually increase your hotel business. But one message I also have, and it's back to those consortia that you may be a member of. Always book using the consortia hotel programs if you are a member. Again, you all know the consortias if you're a, a member of them. But book that hotel rate plan because they include the complimentary breakfast for two each morning of the stay an additional amenity up to $100 per stay, maybe an early check-in or late check-out subject to availability, and even a room upgrade subject to availability. These are all very, very tangible added values. They're things that you can sell. In fact, I believe so strongly in them, you should get a red marker, and on your invoice, write and circle, because you booked with, and then you put your, your travel agency name or your personal name, you saved $300, $400 in value. It's easy to get up to those types of numbers. You just have to do the math yourself uh, and, and really leverage the value that you're giving uh, with these types of hotel programs. So the free breakfast, the $100 amenity, really is perceived as great value by clients when you tell them that they're getting it because of you. Now, I talked a lot about SPG because of the launch of SPG Pro. This is another little tip for you, though. Remember, we're leveraging our existing guest loyalty program, SPG, and making that a program for yourselves to benefit from. So you should also suggest to your clients that you help them actually manage their own SPG program. And why is that? Because, you know, sometimes I hear people say, oh, I lost a booking 
because my clients book the hotel using SPG points. You no longer need to let that happen. If you're proactively managing your client's accounts, you can make the recommendations of how they burn, redeem their SPG points. For example, how about suggesting to them they move 20,000 SPG points into an airline program and Starwood will give them 5,000 bonus points. No other hotel company does that. Suddenly, you have great value to that client because maybe they'd forgotten, maybe they didn't know that. Maybe you're saying, you know that trip that you didn't think you could do? Yes, you can because you can move 20,000 points into an airline program or et cetera, et cetera. So be proactive, make the recommendations, and then you can actually book the hotel element, which will be commissionable to yourself and retain that commission and keep your profits obviously uh, increasing. So really embrace SPG, not only for yourselves and SPG Pro, but also to recommend for your clients as well. And that really brings me to uh, the conclusion of uh, today's uh, webinar. I do want to uh, allow some time for some Q&A, but before I do so, I sincerely actually want to say a very big thank you. Thank you to all of you, yes, of course, for devoting some of your very, very precious time today for joining me and listening to today's webinar. But actually, thank you for the outstanding support that you and the entire travel professional community extends to Starwood. You know, we know everybody has a choice. You can all choose your preferred partners, but when you choose Starwood, it sincerely makes a huge difference. And you can trust us. We're laser focused at delivering exceptional experiences to our guests, making you look even more the hero. And on behalf of obviously everybody at Starwood, from our CEO through to our operations teams at all of our 1,200 hotels around the world, I do wish to say a very, very sincere thank you for the business that you send to us. And Sandy, I'd like to uh, open up the uh, uh, Q&A again for um, uh, any questions that anybody okay, has. Okay, that's fantastic. Thank you for that presentation. It was fantastic. Uh, the hotels still look amazing in all the different categories, and this new program is uh, is a win-win all the way around. So uh, thank you for all that information. We do have several questions, both about the hotels and about the new SPG Pro program, uh, which uh, we'll be getting to, plus we're going to leave some time for that fantastic giveaway of the $100 gift card that you are so generously giving away to one of our agents. Uh, so our first question is, could you just uh, reiterate where the latest W Hotel was opened? The, uh, yes, the, the 45th property that is open actually uh, today, literally, um, uh, is the W in Verbier, Switzerland. It actually opened last December, ready for the ski season, a fabulous uh, property also for summer, and it's of course revving up now for the winter ski season again this year. We will be opening this year in um, late October this month, we'll be opening the brand new W in Beijing. And then next year, we have one of our most exciting openings, uh, the W in Amsterdam uh, as well. Fantastic. Um, we had a question. Is there a way for you to um, describe or quantify the difference between the heavenly beds and the sweet sleeper beds? Is there a difference between those two? Uh, they're actually manufactured by different companies. Uh, we have um, preferred partnerships with uh, some of the most uh, respected bed manufacturers. They're actually um, uh, unique uh, in, the, in the sense that um, the actual mattresses and the amount of springs, and you know, I'm not a techie person about beds uh, myself, unfortunately, but I know that they are uh, you, you know, the, I guess if this was a cookery class, I'd say the recipe. Um, I don't know what you call it when you're making a bed, to be perfectly frank, but the bed is unique to Westin, and it's a different manufacturer for Sheraton. All I can tell you is, um, and I tend generally get a little raise of the eyebrow when I say this, but, you know, at Starwood, we still believe we're the best in bed. Uh, <laughs> uh, many, many people compliment us on our night's sleep, and many people actually now have the Western Heavenly Bed or the Sheraton Sweet Sleeper, actually, or any of our beds that we sell at any of our brands. We just started our luxury collection uh, shop as well on, on our website. People can order the beds, and many have them at home and sleep on them um, themselves as well. 
Oh, that sounds wonderful. <laughs> um, we also had a question. Uh, could you give just a quick description of where the name St. Regis comes from? Uh, great question, actually. Yes, I mean, the, the first St. Regis, and it's still our flagship uh, for the brand, actually, but the very first hotel, and really that was the only hotel for a long, long time, is the St. Regis in New York, built by Lord and Lady Astor. Uh, on 5th and 55th East in New York City because the hotel opened in 1908. And uh, the, the same region. Sorry, I've got some on my phone. Hopefully everybody can hear me clearly. Yeah, there is an echo suddenly. Not sure if there's an echo. I can still hear the feedback and talking, but the St. Regis in New York uh, was the uh, is the flagship of the brand uh, uh, still to this day, and uh, actually um, that is the original hotel, and that's where the name is from. Excellent. Actually, I don't know if if listeners know, but uh, uh, for those of you who enjoy a Bloody Mary, uh, the Bloody Mary cocktail was actually designed in the King Cole Bar in the 1930s. It was originally called the Red Snapper cocktail though and every St. Regis in the world uh, now of course has its own unique blend of a Bloody Mary and every St. Regis in the world also offers butler service and that actually stems back to the original St. Regis in New York City as well where Lord and Lady Astor used to entertain of course a lot of their uh, family, their guests, their personal friends and the uh, St. Regis was the very first hotel ever to have butler service actually and we keep that tradition going today and offer butler service to our guests, your clients, at uh, St. Regis Hotels all around the world. Mm. Sounds like a great idea to me. Mm -hmm. um, do the Four Points properties have breakfast included with their rates? Uh, Four Points Hotels do not actually have breakfast inclusive, no. You will find breakfast inclusive actually at our Element Hotels, um, uh, and we do, though, include um, coffee and refreshments uh, in Four Points and, of course, free internet and free bottled water in, uh, in Four Points hotels. Wonderful. Um, getting to the um, pro program now, is the benefit level um, cumulative or does it reset after a year or, or how does that work? Actually, a great question. Great question. No, it's cumulative. So you will actually have to re, um, sort of reactivate every year, but your points don't disappear. They, you just continue to, to earn your points, and if you don't wish to redeem any, you know, in one year, they just carry over to the next year. So there's no uh, there's no um, expiration as per se. And if um Agents don't have the opportunity to link their accounts by October 15th. What happens to their current points after that date? Um, so any points that if you're an SPG member today and you have points in your account, obviously after the 15th, they'll still be in your account and you'll just be earning more points as you add your SPG number into all future bookings on eligible rate plans. Um, the beauty, beauty of linking prior to October the 15th is all of your pro learning history will automatically populate in your new uh, like dashboard, as per se, on our website when you when you log back in. And I really encourage you to actually do that if you're a Star Pro graduate. After October the 15th, your history won't be uh, lost, but um, you will actually need to take one further step to uh, request that that history is populated on your personal dashboard when you log in. So. Uh, you know, setting yourselves all up, ready before launch. Um, you'll be able to earn points as of the 15th of October. So we're sort of in the enrollment period now, and I'd love to encourage everybody to, to do exactly that. Do agents earn points uh, when they book a Starwood hotel through a wholesaler, a tour company? Or? Yeah, that's a great question as well, actually, actually, and I'm pleased that it was asked. The, uh, the, the answer is unfortunately no. Uh, it has to be through an eligible rate plan booked on the GDS, our style websites, our call centers, or property direct. You know, we love our wholesale partners. We deploy a lot of our salespeople in our company to manage our wholesale partners. However, today, we don't actually know which travel agency is booking a wholesaler 
let alone which travel agent or travel professional is booking the wholesaler. So unfortunately, we uh, have a technology sort of disadvantage, and this is a fully automated system. It's, it's a seamless uh, process, and uh, uh, that is really the reason why we cannot uh, award points on wholesale bookings. But there's huge opportunity for uh, bookings, obviously, through the GDS, the web, call centers, or property direct. Okay, that's good to know. Um, we had a question. How can an, uh, an agent inquire about the ma amount of points uh, that Starwood credits to clients' accounts if they move their points to an airline account? So, um, again, another good question, actually. And my recommendation to help your clients manage their accounts, you obviously would need your client's permission. They would obviously need to tell you their SPG number, and it would probably wouldn't be the only number, loyalty program number you'd be keeping track of. Maybe you're keeping track of their American Airlines, Delta, United frequent flyer programs as well, etc. So that's the first step to have all of their their loyalty program numbers on file. Then, of course, you know, ideally, you'd need to have a password that they've they've used. Many people use the same passwords for all accounts. And then, actually, you know, you would know you'd be able to access their accounts and actually, you know, see how many points they actually had. And let's say they had 40,000. 40, that's when you could say, do you know you got 40,000 points? You could move those points into your Delta program, and actually, you, you know, you get 10,000 bonus, uh, and that's 50,000. That's two, you know, coach uh, tickets domestically in North America, or maybe they're going on an international trip, and you could suggest it's uh, use those points for upgrades to, you know, from from coach to uh, business or business to first, etc. Of course, if they won't give you a password then uh, I, I would just be bold and say, um, you know, how many points do you have in your account? Because I may have some great ideas of how you can use those points. And um, I can guarantee this is when every travel professional starts to become more valuable because to your client, you're vested in their own, in the, in the, you know, in their well-being and their own satisfaction and obviously ensuring that their, uh, their experiences are exceeding their expectations all the time. Wonderful. Uh, one of our agents is asking um, that she merged her pro accounts a few days ago, but is not seeing the 250 bonus points yet. Where, where does she see those? Or does she okay, they will come. I guarantee they will come. But uh, they'll, they're being posted, I think, in, uh, in probably weekly batches. Um, so um, in a few more days, I think you will see those 250 points. Absolutely. If they don't, uh, I'm sure you've got my email, chris.austin at starwoodhotels.com. By all means, send me an email and we'll make sure that uh, your points are there. We don't want anybody to lose out. Uh, and that brings me to another point. Do you have, um, I, I want to urge all of our travel agents who have additional questions after we finish this to um, get in touch uh, with someone at Starwood. Chris, what's the best way to ask a question after this session is over? Yeah, no, by all means. I, you know, um, I'd love to hear from all of our travel professional partners. And uh, even if it's just to say, you know, uh, I love this hotel, or I have a question. If you have a question, chris.austin, A-U-S-T-I-N, at Starwood Hotels. There's an S on hotel there, so starwoodhotels.com. By all means, uh, send me an email. And for those of you who have done in the past, you can, I guess, vouch for me, but you will get a reply. Okay. Um, we have a question about agents who work in uh, travel agencies that have more than one agent. Does each individual agent need their own uh, recognizable yes. number? Very good question, actually. This is a loyalty program for the individual travel professional. It's not a loyalty program for travel agencies. So SPG Pro is designed to benefit the individual seller, hence you know, the work that you do, the business that you book, is becoming more rewarding for you personally. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, and what about the um, gold and platinum tier levels? Do you need to requalify for those once you reach them, or do you stay at that level? Yes, that is actually true. You do requalify every 12 months for the uh, higher elite tiers. Okay. So that's exactly the same as if you were a guest. The beautiful advantage of uh, 
uh, our travel professional partners that our, our guests, your clients, don't necessarily have is you've got the ability to earn those elite tiers through your own personal travel on eligible rate plans, through booking leisure or corporate travel on eligible rate plans, or booking groups or events on eligible rate plans as well. So uh, your clients only have their own personal stays to become elite. You have a myriad of different types of business that you can book uh, all helping you qualify. So um, I know we're going to see a lot of you all at the, the gold and platinum level, I, I know. Okay, and we have time for one more question before we do our giveaway. And that is uh, a question that a few of our agents have asked. If uh, a client has an SPG credit card of some kind, American Express or whatever, does the uh, agent and the, do the agent and client both get points for that booking? Uh, great question. And yes, we do actually have our co-branded credit card with American Express. Uh, it is actually regarded as one of the best, uh, I think, credit cards uh, um, uh, with, with the loyalty points connected uh, uh, to it, uh, I think, in the world. So, yes, when, a, uh, when you're making a booking on behalf of a client who's an SPG Pro, uh, sorry, an SPG member, and you're an SPG Pro member, you do both get points. They will get points for their guest stay, and you will get points on, uh, you know, for booking their stay, as long as, of course, it's, it's booked through the eligible channel and the eligible rate plans. Um, so absolutely, uh, guest gets the points, travel professional gets the points, everybody's happy, yeah? That will make everybody happy. And um, <laughs> we're just about out of time, so I want to explain about the wonderful giveaway. Uh, Chris is giving away a $100 MasterCard gift card today. Uh, and how this is going to work is that Chris will ask a question. And the first correct answer I see on my screen is the winner. And I will let Chris know who that is. And we will then provide Chris with the winner's information so that he can get in touch with you and get you the card. And uh, just note that this gift card, $100 gift card, has to be used by the end of this year, December 31st of this year. Uh, so uh, it's, it's a great thing to have for Christmas shopping or for any kind of shopping. So Chris, go ahead and ask your question and I will let you know who the winner is. Excellent, excellent. So fingers to the keyboards, I guess. Sir. So on what date will SPG Pro go live and you'll be able to start earning your SPG points? On what date is SPG Pro going to go live? Okay, and we already have a winner, and the winner is Gloria Brethauer. So congratulations to Gloria. You have won the $100 MasterCard.